over the years, the sender has moved leaps and bounds in ensuring effective government co communication across board. The center has been key to breaking news. Let it be from the health sector, education, or the security services. The press briefings have been highly effective in this case. In fact, to date, since I assumed office here at the Media Center five years ago, we've so far held about 922 uh, press briefings at the center. Not forgetting the international conferences and other government functions that we've organized. Ministries and departments are now aware that a media center is a one-stop center for their communication needs. Working very closely with the Media Council, a multitude of foreign journalists have been accredited and are free to operate in the country. And in fact, for some of us who have observed, much of their output has been critical in promoting our country, Uganda. I'm also happy uh, to note that the Media Center website is among the top 10 visited in Uganda. We have taken advantage of the emergence of social media, platforms such as Facebook, and indeed, right now as we stand, we have 3,000 followers on Twitter. Our good media relations has been a strong point as the center has operated an open door policy where journalists have been free to come in and out, and where I believe that they've been courteously served by Uganda Media Center staff. However, there have been challenges and it is therefore my considered view that for the center to operate optimally, the current annual budget, operational budget of 500 million per year should be reviewed. This should allow for effective, effective interventions on electronic media, especially radios and televisions. We are all aware that uh, these areas have grown expo exponentially since the liberalization of the media and therefore are the most effective platforms of information uh, dissemination. And when I talk about information dissemination, I don't necessarily uh, just mean radio talk shows and so forth. Every quarter, Ministry of Finance releases disbursements to districts. And I believe the radios can be extremely effective in informing uh, the citizenry out there on what government is providing for them. And also it will allow them to help to hold their leaders accountable. As a result of increased services generated by the center, an appropriate office space befitting a government communication agency or agency uh, should be considered. Unfortunately, from the past a couple of years, it's something that we've been striving. But I, I do hope that uh, with the incoming um, uh, executives of the center, uh, that issue uh, should be uh, pursued. Given the Honorable Minister's uh, passion, and in that I mean Honorable Tumwebaze, 
and Honorable Rose uh, Namayaja, that passion for effective government communication, I do believe that uh, critical support uh, to the center uh, will be achieved. It is therefore on this note that I congratulate my brother, uh, Mr. Ofono Opondo, for his appointment as Executive Director of Uganda Media Center, as well as uh, my friend, uh, Colonel Shaban Bantariza. I do believe that with years of their experience put together, they will take the center uh, to another level. As I conclude, I would profusely like to thank His Excellency, uh, the President, uh, for having appointed me uh, in this position that I've held in the past five years. He has guided me certainly over the years, and once again I thank him. I thank my minister, Honorable Frank Tumwebaze, Honorable Rose Namayanja, whom I've interacted a lot with, and all ministers who have supported the center, and by extension have communicated to the public. I would thank Madam Chinalwa, the former Secretary Office of the President, and all staff that have been, uh, that have been privileged uh, to interact with uh, at Office of the President. My friends, the staff of Uganda Media Center, I shall ever be grateful for the support and professionalism that you've exhibited over the years. And finally, <coughs> colleagues from the Media Fraternity, I thank you very much for your support. Most of you are my friends, and indeed, you've been critical to the operations of Uganda Media Center. I do look forward to my uh, next assignment as Minister Councillor at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I actually believe that this is not the end. Uh, we shall still uh, interact with the media fraternity <coughs> and indeed uh, the media center. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your support, Hello. Center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe there's something we, we have to sign up, apparently. Let me just... Thank you very much. Now the out gone. <laughs> the out gone executive director, minister councillor at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Fredo Polot, for keeping the flame for the last five years. We obviously are grateful to you. May I on my own behalf and on behalf of the Media Center wish you the best of journeys in your career. Honorable Minister for the Presidency and KCCA, under which the Media Center falls, as all of you know perhaps, the Media Center is under the Office of the President and State House. The Honorable Minister of Information and National Guidance, you are most welcome for this brief occasion. May I take the opportunity to request my deputy, Colonel Shaban Batariza, to stand up 
for recognition. I know many of you know him, but let him just stand up. Shaban is going to be my deputy for the time I will be here. Thank you very much, Shaban. Shaban is coming here pending retirement from the UPDF. He is as yet not retired, but the process is on. Honorable ministers, I don't have much. I just want to pledge that we shall do our best to take the media center, government communication, to the greatest of heights. You, the staff who have been working with Fred, his leadership has ended today. There's a new leadership under me. I ask and demand total, yes, total loyalty to the new leadership. I ask and demand total loyalty to the new leadership. I call upon teamwork. You, the, med the media, I promise you I will be ever available and I pledge that the center will continue to have open door policy that Fred and Kabshenga earlier on encouraged. I thank you so much. May I now invite the Honorable Minister for the Presidency to make his remark. Thank you, Honorable Minister. And gentlemen, well, my remarks are really few. Just to let you know that the government is trying to facilitate all avenues of communication such that the people you serve, the clients you serve who are your readership and viewership, you give them a balanced menu. Can we all agree that the center will end the, the, the common story of no comment? He could not be reached, the phone was off. You know? That, 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 that's the trade or the trademark that sometimes the government has been baptized with. I hope really this era, uh, this facilitating agency will help government uh, to communicate better to its citizens. Sometimes an institution, when it's in its pioneer stages, you, 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 you work hard, you struggle to give it to give it an identity. So I want to thank your efforts, as well as the efforts of Mr. Robert Kabushenga, that defined this uh, center. People thought it was a propaganda tool. But it's not the case. It is a platform for ensuring that communication is effective, it's accurate, and, and people get a balanced menu. And I appeal to you, the media, insist on a balanced menu. <coughs> Don't write a one-sided story. Yes. Because the other party should also give you its views. Or such that you are able to tell Ugandans, if there is this. That's why I'm happy. Like when I had the other day some interaction on BBC, there was one strong man, and another strong man was also coming from this side. That is BBC. That is what? BBC. The, 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 the big things you talk about. They were able to to find it important that they look for someone from Kampala to give the world another view. The other view is very, very important. And I expect the media center to facilitate the giving of the other, the other view. I want to congratulate uh, Mr. Fono Pondo and uh, Kano Bantaliza for coming here and to assure you of our support. And as a team, Minister for Presidents, I mean the Media Center, the Minister of Information and National Guidance, we want to assure the public that you are going to see a robust communication function in government. A very robust communication function, very proactive uh, on the dot, and we are going to ensure that we inform Ugandans uh, what we are doing, what government is doing, and all that we are appealing for, I just want to reiterate the words of the Minister for Presidents. 
is accurate and balanced reporting. We shall be available to give our side, to tell our story, <clears throat> to give our side, tell our story, and we want you to give Ugandans and, and indeed the world uh, an opportunity for them to judge by themselves. So to the staff, we, we are really, the, the ED is asking and demanding for total loyalty, <laughs> <laughs> maximum loyalty, and that's all that we are demanding for all of us. And we are going to win, to succeed or fail as a team. It's, it's teamwork that will ensure that we move the communication function of government forward. Uh, right now, I mean, just last week, we launched the government communication strategy, uh, which is a, an elaborate strategy. As I speak, we are training all, we are training uh, over 40 uh, spokespersons of ministries, departments, and agents. Training is going on for all PROs in, uh, in government, and they will continue to train others. They will continue to train even district information officers. So we want you to engage with the professionals, people, first of all, who know what they are supposed to do, and to tell the story. I want to repeat the words of uh, Honorable Frank, that, you know, at times even no comment is a comment. But we shall make sure there is a comment. Every time we, we shall all be available, right from him, then the ED, then me. And like I've said, we are training, we are carrying out training of all uh, public relations officers in ministries, departments, and agencies. We are actually creating communication units in ministries, departments, and agencies to ensure that at any particular time, anybody who wants the information gets it and gives our side of the story. So I just want to once again congratulate uh, Mr. Fono Pondo and in you and, and your team, we know that you will move the media center to the greatest of heights. Uh, you will start from where Mr. Opolot stopped and move further. I can't say that the sky can be the limit because we don't want even the sky to limit you if, if, if you can go any further. So I thank you so much and I uh, thank the media for the time you've given us.